Hello, my name is David and I'm going to give you a brief demonstration of the new features in the Menemai Suite version 6.9. Uh, the main focus in version 6.9 was on implementing a new feature called Health Monitoring, which is basically a feature that allows the administrator and other users to see graphically the status of certain parts of the system and related services. Uh, we also implemented VRF support, which stands for uh, virtual routing and forwarding, which means that we can uh, uh, communicate with routers that are configured with uh, VRF. Uh, we also did various improvements and stability enhancements. Uh, the health monitoring feature uh, will give uh, the users the current status of the Menemai suite and connected services. Uh, for example, PNS servers and zones, DHCP servers and zones, and more. Here we see a screenshot where at the bottom of the screen we can see the actual health bar. The health bar is uh, split into five categories where each category contains a status indicator with where, uh, where each st status indicator can be either green, which is normal, uh, yellow, which indicates a warning, uh, or uh, red, which would uh, indicate an error. If we start with the Man in My Suite category, the first subcategory is licensing, which would indicate a problem with the license. Server controllers is next, uh, and an error there would indicate a problem with communicating with either the update agent or the uh, server controllers. Uh, the version category would indicate a new version available on the update server. The DNS category. Uh, the DNS servers and DNS zones. The DNS servers uh, would indicate an, uh, an error if there are problems communicating with uh, any DNS server. Uh, a warning or an error in the DNS zones category would indicate, uh, for example, if uh, the system is unable to get the zone status or if the slave zone will expire in the next 24 hours or if the DNS server cannot load the zone. Uh, in the next category uh, is for the DHCP servers, for example, if the, they are unreachable. Uh, for the DHCP scopes, we have a variety of uh, error checks. For example, if, if the system is unable to get the status of the scope, if the any part of the scope is overutilized, if a super scope is overutilized, if there is a pool collision or a reservation mismatch, if I name a few. We will go uh, a bit into details uh, a bit later in the demonstration. For the IPAMP category we have a static utilization indicator which would indicate if uh, the subnet is overutilized either for the static part or the dynamic part. Then the last category is for the man and mice appliances. Uh, there is a single indicator there that uh, would indicate if there is a problem with uh, the appliances. Uh, regarding the VRF support, as I said before, it will enable us uh, to communicate with VRF enabled routers and that uh, is all about uh, retrieving data regarding the subnet and host discovery feature of the Menemai Suite. Uh, on to the demonstration. Here we have a running system running on the new version, uh, version 6.9. Um, as we can see, here is the uh, health bar uh, minimized, and as we could see in the screenshot in the uh, before, uh, we can expand the health bar by clicking this button here, and we can see actually see that there are uh, a few errors and a uh, single warning here. Uh, if we go through the errors, we can um, <coughs> double click on the red indicators and it will show us that uh, one or more errors have been detected. <coughs> Here we can see that uh, it opens up a window which would give us the uh, a description of the errors uh, and some detailed descriptions of each error. So if we uh, take a look at the first one. Uh, this description here is 
failed to do a SOAR request for a song, that means that uh, the DNS server is unable to um, give up a uh, correct answer about the song. For example, uh, uh, it can give a server fail, for example, uh, if the so song uh, is incorrectly set up. Um, and it's quite a number of zones. Uh, if we go to this part of the window, uh, for example here, we can see the name of the zone and a uh, better description, uh, which indicates uh, on which server the zone is. Uh, we can actually right-click on the uh, description here. We can either open up the zone, open up the options for the server, or show in one of the window, which uh, I'm going to show here. It, this will show the uh, zone in the zone window. Uh, if I right click again and click open, it, it will open up the zone. And uh, yeah, here is an error about not being, being able to perform a zone transfer. That's okay. The other type of, of error here is that the slave zone ad.example.com is about to expire uh, and it will show here that it's uh, on this server and it will, uh, will expire on this date. Uh, we can do the same here, show in the manage window or open up the zone. Um, if we go on to the DHCP category, we can see that there are uh, quite a few errors here um, and uh, it's tells us that the DSCP server is unreachable for those three servers. Um, I'm not going to fix the errors now, but uh, if we go on to the scopes, here we get a single error, uh, actually two, two uh, cases of a scope pool, pool collision. And we can do the same here, we can uh, show in the manager window, open, look at the properties or options. Uh, if we take a look at the scope here, we can see that the, uh, uh, we can just take a look at the overview, we can see that there is a, uh, a pool conflict here. Um, and yeah, that is basically it for the DHCP servers. If we close the window again and take a look at the static part of IPAM, uh, we can see that there's a single warning here about the subnet that is overutilized. And the here's the subnet and the description that tells us that the static threshold is set, that was set for the subnet has been reached. And if we open up here, we can see that the um, yeah, 62 of 62 are in use. And that concludes the uh, demonstration of the of the health monitoring part. Okay, on to the demonstration of the VRF support. Uh, here I have uh, another system where I am going to configure. Uh, I have already configured a, a profile, SNMP profile, which uh, will uh, talk to uh, a VRF enabled router. Uh, this is the IP address of the router. And here I have enabled that uh, it, that the system will synchronize the IP addresses on the routers to the minimum suite and also synchronize the subnet front of the routers. So I just click OK here and then I click uh, the scan to initiate the scan and this will populate the system with uh, uh, information from the routers. Uh, so we can see here that the we already have, uh, these are the subnets that are configured on the routers. The router name is uh, configured here, or shown here. Um, the interface name, the interface description, VLAN ID, uh, the VRF name, and then the creation time. Thank you.